In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do keyword optimization for your blog posts or pages on WordPress website using Rank Math SEO plugin. So if you want to level up your content on your WordPress website for better search results, then Rank Math SEO can help you a lot in that. And let me show you how it is done step by step. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Alright, so we all know that content is key when it comes to ranking our content on Google search results. And for a better search results, we need to do keyword optimization for our content written on our website. So if you are using WordPress website and you have Rank Math SEO plugin installed, there are various checks and various optimization process you can go through and make sure that you get a high chance to rank better on Google search results. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and I'll show you how you can use Rank Math SEO plugin to do keyword optimization for your WordPress content. So now we are in our WordPress dashboard and we have already installed Rank Math SEO and the Rank Math SEO Pro that is the paid version. So if you want to watch the complete series that we have done for Rank Math SEO plugin, you can watch that in the i button above and I'll leave a link in the description as well. So now let's go to our posts and start doing the SEO optimization for this blog post. So this is a sample blog post that we have just added to show you how keyword optimization work when we are working with Rank Math SEO plugin. So now we go ahead and click on edit and on the top we have the title and below that we have a long blog post. Uh, we have not written this blog post. I have just copied it from somewhere. So just to show you how things work. So now on this, so now on this editor, you see here is our Rank Math SEO option. And right now it's showing red and the score is 24 out of 100, which means that there is a lot of scope for improvement. Now, whenever we install Rank Math on any blog post, it analyzes our content and give us rating based on that. If your rating is showing red, it means that there is a lot of scope of improvement with that you can do. If it is yellow, then it is in fair range. And if it is green, then that means it's fairly in good range. So right now we are in the red zone. So let's see what all improvements we can do. And also if we talk about SEO in general, optimization of any blog post or page starts from writing the content itself. So whatever content you are creating on your WordPress website, just focus on how you can optimize that for any keyword right from the beginning. So to optimize any content for search results, we first need to decide what is the focus keyword of that content, which means what is this content all about? So we need to think about a keyword or a key phrase, what people might be searching in Google. And based on that, our blog post will show up higher in the search results. So that is the part where we first need to decide what is our focus keyword for our content. So like in this case, our focus keyword is yoga poses for kids. And when we go to rank math option here, we get the first option that is focus keywords. If we click on tab, now our focus keyword is highlighted. And we see that we have a star here because right now the only focus, because that is the only keyword that we have entered. You can enter more than one focus keyword as well, but make sure you do not overdo this. Just enter maximum two to three keywords, but still the first keyword will be always treated as the prime or the main focus keyword and rest of the two or three that you will enter will be treated as secondary focus keywords. So after that we can enter yoga for kids or maybe kids poses in yoga something like that now while we are entering this focus keyword here is an option to check google trends and see how popular this keyword is so either you can select worldwide or you can also select any specific country to check if there is any trend or any popularity uh, for this keyword so you will get an idea about that from here itself 
Now below that we have an option to select if this post is a pillar content which means that if your blog post is something like an evergreen content that people will be searching for very long time so you can mark it as pillar content and below that we have a few options from rank math first is basic seo so it will find some errors and scope of improvements related to seo and then it will list it here below that we have additional options that it will scan on our content and give us suggestions based on that and after that we have the title readability and below that we have the content readability so all these are a kind of metrics from rank math seo plugin so whenever we post our content in wordpress editor Rank Math SEO will start doing its job and analyze this content and give us suggestions based on that. So if we go on very top, that is basic SEO. So here we can see that we have some green signs as well as some red cross signs. So whenever we see this red sign, which means that we need to check that and see if we can improve anything on that. So right now, the first thing is focus keyword is not found in SEO meta description. So this is definitely we can take care of. So we go on the top, we edit this snippet. And in the description, we type something like. So we will take this as an example for our SEO meta description. And on the top for the title, we are using the WordPress variables to generate a formatted uh, SEO title here. If you want, we can go ahead and remove everything from here and do and create our own custom title for this post. For example, so here is an example of how you can uh, edit your WordPress SEO title here. You can enter a static tags and after that you can combine a WordPress variable as well. So the title will become, so the title will show like this and our focus keyword, the first focus keyword will be highlighted here. So the first focus keyword is yoga poses for kids and that's the one highlighting here. So this is how you can give a SEO title for all your blog posts and pages. Below that we have the permanent link that is the slug or the URL for our page or blog post. So here also we try to make sure that we enter our keyword here so that it will help us in doing some more optimization. So let's say uh, we change this as, so let's say we change this to yoga poses for kids. That is our focus keyword. And now we go ahead and close this tab. And now you see that our score jumped from red mark to yellow. And now it's showing 72 out of 100. And if we go back in the basic SEO errors, we have focus keyword does not appear at beginning of the content. So it means the content that we have pasted here do not have our focus keyword right in the beginning or maybe at least in the first two lines. So if we just go ahead and paste our um, focus keyword here. Now I know that this is not the best way to enter focus keyword inside your content and you don't have to stuff keywords in your content to rank better. But the idea is that if you enter your focus keyword right in the beginning or at least in the first two, three lines of your content, it is counted as a good sign as per the rank math metrics. So now you see that the basic SEO, it shows all good. And in the, and below that we have four additional errors that we can check out. The first red mark is to add an image with your focus keyword as alt text. So right now our content is all text based and we have not used any um, image yet. So you can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add an image here. So we will click on enter. And from here we will add the image block. And we will upload the image. So this is the image that we will be using. And if we click on this image, we go to this range icon. And here in the alt text, we will mention yoga poses for kids. That is our focus keyword. And once again, we go back to the SEO settings. And here in the additional, we go back in additional. Now you see that we have focus keyword found an image alt attribute is now green instead of red. Below that we have option for keyword density. 
and as per that our content got a less density of our focus keyword so if we just go ahead and sprinkle this keyword some places at some places in the content here so that will make this also green but make sure that you don't overdo that and you should not just stuff keyword here and there just try to rephrase some sentences with your focus keyword but make sure that they also don't look very um, uncomfortable or unnatural so the basic idea is that the keyword that you are putting here and there in the content should not look that it's uh, it's done deliberately it should be part of the content naturally so here are some checks that you can do and see if you can improve on them so now we have the seo score as 76 out of 100 which is pretty good and we can also improve that but make sure that rank math seo can only provide you these metrics and give you suggestions to improve your content to increase your chances of getting listed higher in the Google search results. When you are doing this keyword optimization of your pages or blog posts in WordPress, make sure that you do not compromise user readability and experience at any cost. It doesn't matter that if the rank math SEO ranking is 78 or 80 or maybe 65 out of 100. These are not hard and fast rules that you need to follow each and everything. And then only you will be able to get rank on Google search result. So this is not the way it works. So again, just read all the points that this plugin is showing you as suggestions. And if possible, then go ahead and do all these changes and updates but do not compromise on user experience and readability at any cost. So that's how easy it is to use Rank Math SEO plugin to do keyword optimization for our WordPress website content. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to Rank Math, then make sure you check our playlist here. And I will leave a link in the description as well. And to watch more videos related to WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.